a day in five months I made a series lots of fish um in the said uh, the Joker in fact said uh, the fish of Gotham City with the uh, Joker toxin Joker venom love gosh everyone call it um when by month they sex when the fish infected by a uh, Joker's uh, does the uh, seeds are in the uh, poisonous and only affects the fish. Um, Joker along with Hardy Quinn and the uh, two henchmen go to a uh, a corporate uh, uh, office, like the place you go to corporate your uh, product. Uh, Joker has a talk with the one the the broker there or the person the sign paper with named that uh, G. Carol Francis. I like to say the whole scene is just great with Francis just uh, saying Grace Scott when I see the Joker and Joker sort of saying Axiom Irish and Joker introducing Hardy Quinn and that and uh, and uh, Joker slapping Francis in the face with a fish after he said not to speak to him and Hardy just courting some mad uh, perfume or something. And uh, the Joker wants uh, money for uh, every uh, item that the Lap of Fist has been used for. But Carol or Francis tells them that he can't uh, copy fish since uh, they're a natural resource. And I like the kids see it. I mentioned the, the, the Colonel from KFC. It, it's funny. And Joker just threatens that if uh, Carol doesn't uh, push his paperwork for recovery through, he'd be a worse kind of fish. A uh, dead one. So uh, Francis has police uh, protection and bullets, there's no way anybody can get in. The Batman does dress up as a policeman, and of course, bullets don't really like Batman. Being there, but well, gorgeous vouches for him. Um, well, uh, the police and Batman look after Francis. A uh, truck with uh, a stuffed uh, swordfish or some on it that uh, fires the swordfish. And just when uh, Francis saying that uh, they, they get the stuff that Hardy uh, spread him off from a shower or anything. A man just yells that he needs to go to a hospital and the floor fits as the uh, head his head into the uh, apartment and was soft and a uh, gas just comes out and uh, Francis just starts laughing uncontrol uncontrollably and uh, man just figures out that uh, the thing uh, that Harry sprayed on was uh, an uh, this part of the Joker gas and the sources at the second part and that's why Francis went to uh, laughing town oh yeah and the uh, commercial Joker's uh, shown for his uh, fish was just raining comes back to the read the news and then for him to hurry to eat and some fifty no sense has a problem with it as you hear puking at the works. I don't know. And then it's over after the set a, a second day bureaucrat that might be able to get him uh, copyright claims. Uh, he starts laughing as well when his uh, cat who is infected by a uh, joke around from this uh, fish that has in his mouth attacks him. Um, Bullock just frustrated since the Batman plan didn't work and decides to take uh, things in his own hands. Um, Batman uh, realizes that the fish that the cat had was a Japanese Kang and he and Bullock figure out that the Joker's hideout is an aquarium. Yeah, how did the fish infect the cat if Batman said that the toxins only a uh, in fact, fish.
and it won't fall off but I mean, he broke his head to the aquarium and Harry just said has my gunpoint and fires and some streamers come out and time up with Joker having the big uh, fishing rod and threatening to feed uh, Bulk to Shark but he realizes that if they're Bulk they will find Batman in far away and this leads to a good moment with Harry and Joker and Harry's still disgusted by Fizz and it seems like Joker's being sympathetic to her and saying he, she could be his own little mermaid that puts a rubber fish face on him and I don't know why there Harry calls uh, Joker boss like I know she's a head one but she usually just calls him like Mr. J or Puddin or something and I do kind of like that the Joker gets a signal to his goon to Batman it's coming by him the person now a whoopee cushion <sighs> anyway Batman just heads to the aquarium and you see the bullock over the shark tank and yeah, even though he and Bullock will get along Batman uh, doesn't have the Joker have him be fed by the shark rather than Bullock and the Joker is saying that he's probably going to cattle now and make a uh, Joker burgers and just uh, kicks Batman in saying he can't take a joke is good and as he uh, throws the burger at Bullock and puts, puts him in and close up the tank with Bullock being uh, scared of the shark yeah a lot of scar uh, sharks are scary but I think Bullock might saw Jaws too many times and just your reaction to uh, Joker's having seen Batman and Bullock get trying to get away from the shark just good <laughs> I don't know anyway Batman is able to uh, ride a shark by getting his uh, coat over the shark's mouth and just trying to pull it in one direction yeah Aquaman eat your hand out and able to, get the, able to get out of the tank by uh, getting the shark to break it but the Joker actually gets away by uh, sitting on the uh, big uh, fishing rod and getting to go up uh, but then it does check if Bullock's okay and Bullock just said some uh, give it give him give it give it the Joker one for me or something and Joker's seems a bit tipsy since he's just wobbling a bit and laughing but we're able to tell Batman's behind him Batman actually uh, slaps him with his backhand but Joker hits him with a wrench but Batman's able to get it, the wrench away from the Joker and uh, it seems like Joker has nowhere to go since there's water on top of the at the bottom of the building and even at the top but it's the Joker and he just jumps off with uh, a flotation device on him saying to Batman like he thinks of everything then uh, he sees the shark and Albert thinks he's dead with Harry yet throwing the Joker playing card into the sea with a kiss mark on it to saying he's really gonna miss a uh, Joker and Batman and Gorner discussing whether the Joker is really gone with Batman uh, hoping he is but he doubts it and then the shark just comes in the Joker playing card and this is a great episode one of my favorites when I was younger I watched this episode a lot and the same with the two uh, bureaucrats getting infected by the Joker toxin it's just it's a little bit scary I don't know and this is the second time the Joker has taken over the airwaves or got on the TV for it being a pressure the Joker. I think this is the first time the, ep the they didn't use a title card for a, an episode just show the, the title and just, the, just began. The, the, the animes are light, the light and and this is just a uh, grey and the outfit was uh, really snarky in this and I 
once again thanks again uh, Mark Hamill's having fun in this episode with all the stuff the Joker's saying or doing or just the sounds he was making. Um, Joker Hardy relationship in this isn't as uh, abusive as we'll get in uh, the future episodes, but I think Hardy was uh, better in this than uh, in Joker's favor. And uh, you have to see why uh, Bullock doesn't like Batman since he called him a glory hogging the freaking tights. But, I don't know. But they do seem to get al along a bit better in the uh, other episodes after this, so. Mm. Um, again, the plot with the cats. Yeah, it's already needed. And there's some great lines in this. You just quote them wherever you, wherever you can. Um, the, the idea that I want to have to protect the first, uh, under the, the second bureaucrat was oh, kind of good, but, uh, and, and just the part, the part that doesn't have light, lightning gone off or gone down, it was very atmospheric, and once again, the music was just great as well, like, as usual. And, uh, yeah, a great episode, and next time, the, uh, great as well with the Joker being very angry since this uh, millionaire is uh, dedicated uh, a big casino to him but uh, there tries to be something else going on so mm. yeah until next time I'll see you guys later